how to tell if a man is good for you. Not just good, but good for you. Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Justine Fulama, I'm a dating and relationship coach. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. And if you're not so new, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Share this video, like this video, and all the good stuff. So I keep hearing these stories about when good women meet good men, but for some reason he doesn't treat her right. And I was wondering, how come? until I realized that a lot of women mistake him being good from him being good for you. But that's not the same. So here are my tips on how to differentiate if a man is just good or if he's good for you. Number one is that your friends and family approve of him. Actually, let me not use approval because I know depending on your relationship, they might not approve of him. Let me say that they think he's good for you. And I really want you to hear me on that because I don't think you should look to other people's approval when it comes to dating. But at the same time, you shouldn't completely disregard it because the people who have known you the longest they mean well so if they keep questioning your man and his intentions for you you should at least take it into account and proceed with caution likewise when they share their admiration for him because now you can at least know that it's not just you being head over heels but actually an outsider can tell you no this is healthy this person is good for you number two is my favorite one and that is that you can be 100% yourself around him. If you have parents and siblings, then you know that no matter how close you are to someone, eventually they will get on your nerves. And guess what? You will get on theirs too. But the beauty is, you know that when you're with them, you can be 100% yourself. You can take off your wig, you can take off your bra, you can eat with your mouth full, and they will still 100% accept you, flaws and all. And that's what it will feel like when you find the right guy for you. He won't mind your quirks and he will put you at ease when you guys are together. Number three is that you trust him. And honestly, I wish this one was up Obvious, but I know that to some of you it's not. So, like I said a million times before, trust is the foundation that you build a relationship on. So no trust, no stable relationship. If you're with someone and you feel like they need to check in with you every 30 minutes or that you need to go behind their back to check their phone, then that means that you don't trust him and that's not good for you. Does that mean that he's at fault because he lies or he cheats or something? Not necessarily because he might just have trust issues and not be ready for the relationship but if you can trust him whenever he's out or you can ask him to do something and he does it then that is a good sign because he gives you peace rather than anxiety number four is that you have peace about the relationship obviously this one piggybacks off the last one but it's worth mentioning again if you don't have peace about the relationship let's say because you keep crossing boundaries that you wish you wouldn't or because he doesn't really treat you that great and now whenever you're together you feel uncomfortable then this is a major a sign that he ain't it because the guy that is good for you will add to your well-being not take away from it and you will realize that your relationship is smooth riding more good days than bad days which is really what you want so like I said in the beginning not every man will be the right one but if he matches these four criteria, at least you know that he's good for you guys I really hope that you like this video make sure that you subscribe share and like and of course I see you guys next week in my next video Love and light.